Hello, welcome to Gotta Be Real Movie Reviews with Tommy and Jules. And right now, I'm not sure if you know what this picture is behind us, but we're doing a classic review of School Days. Yay, yay, Spike, Spike Lee, Lee joint. joint. <laughs> <laughs> he wrote, produced, directed, and starred in this film. Mm, talking about keeping it in your own hands. Right? <laughs> and in your own house because his dad did the score, his mm -hmm. sister is a star in it. I mean, right. let him make their own money. about that. Have to be right. <laughs> I'm all about that. Mm, yeah. I'm writing, directing, and producing a movie. My family's going to be in it if they want to, too. All and right. they're good actors, and his dad's mm -hmm. a great producer because that soundtrack is really good. Mm -hmm. Some people, you know, you, you might want to consider just getting the soundtrack. It so, was good. It was yeah. good. So, School Days introduced us to a lot of stars that we still know today. Lawrence Fishburne, Giancarlo Esposito. If you look real closely, you're going to see Sam Jackson. Like, yep. he is in everything. He's in another Spike Lee movie, too. But yeah, he's yes. still hilarious. He's still swearing so poetically in this movie. So, <laughs> all right, break it on down for us, Jules. All right. So, we also have Tisha Campbell. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. For Martin. Yes. Mm -hmm. We have Kadeem Hardison. Mm -hmm. Rest so, in peace to Aussie Davis, who used to have a golden voice. And rest in peace to mm -hmm. Bill Nunn, also known as Radio Rahim. Yeah, that's how we always know him from Radio Rahim. But <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right, so School Days touches on several different topics. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're touching on the black, the historical black colleges mm -hmm. and how a lot of black people don't tend to give back to those colleges, but they. They need money and they're getting it from non-black people or from other sources. Mm -hmm. And why is that? Why don't black people support their own? Mm -hmm. We're talking about colorism, uh, light-skinned black versus dark-skinned black. Mm -hmm. And with that, we're talking about hair, good or bad hair. Mm -hmm. Like what is good, what is bad? Because you straighten it, is that good? Yeah. Because you leave it natural, is that bad? So like what grows out of your scalp is what grows out of your scalp is mm -hmm. good. So this whole colorism thing yeah. has been going on since forever. And I know, let me, let me warn you first, okay? If you're in your feelings right now, you might want to go ahead and hit that X, get out of this video because I'm about to go there with you, okay? Okay, black people? Okay. I'm going to go there. So I know when, you know, when we talk about this subject, the first thing people say is, well, you know, this started in slavery because the light-skinned slaves got to be in the house and, you know, the dark-skinned slaves had to be in the field. Yeah, true, true. But that excuse is now tired and it's old. Okay. We can't keep using that as a crutch. It's going to break. And when it breaks, who is going to be to blame? Mm -hmm. Can't blame the man anymore. This right. is internalized here. Okay. It's like when you are teaching a child to ride a bike. So they're on training wheels for a while. Right. And the main goal is to let them ride the bike without the training wheels. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when that crutch breaks, if you keep using it at some point, it's going to, it's going to rot. What are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Who are you going to blame? Right. It is nobody's fault except us. The more we keep playing on it, it's not going to go away. Okay. This is up to us to stop it. And this is so strong in this movie. That's why it's spelled D-A-Z-E. Right. Because people are still in the days. Our people are still in the days. And it's up to us to stop it. It's nobody else's fault. So. Yes. Are you on, you on point with that, Julie? Because that's, that, that's where I'm at. The movie is also about why don't we support each other mm -hmm. as black people? Right. Why don't we stick together and support each mm -hmm. other? Yeah. So. And then at the end of this movie, which is some, for me, one of the most pivotal points. Okay. You watch this movie and at the end, you'll see Lawrence Fishburne's character. He's waking up super early in the morning and he is screaming. I mean, screaming to the top of his lungs. Wake, Wake up. up. Yeah, now, and ringing a bell. Yes, he yeah. screams, wake up. Wakes up the whole campus. Yes. That's this scene right mm -hmm. here that we see. Mm -hmm. And it's very similar to the movie Higher Learning, where at the end, you just see something that says unlearn. Mm -hmm. If you don't know what he means when he says wake up and unlearn, not to uh, belittle anybody or preach at him, but if you don't know what that means after watching either one of these movies, you've got a lot of work to do. Yeah. You need to go talk with your elders, your grandma your aunt somebody because you got a lot of work to do if you don't know what that means okay i know what it means mm -hmm. and i get it and i got it then I'm but it still seemed kind of abrupt like <laughs> the movie just kind of just ended like well with that scene like, yeah it was already pretty long though but it's the message yeah, but that got still, across it's good so you're into it you're ready to see like the next what's going to happen the mm -hmm. next day and then 
bam, that scene. And shock, then, hey, sometimes and it takes it. a shock to your own system true, for you true. to get it. True. Get it. I'm serious. Like, I still if you, like if the it went movie. over your head, if yeah. it went over your head, I'm sure some of you are watching social media and you see all this. I'm woke. Oh, I'm yeah. woke. Yeah. Think this about is that. Pre woke. Yeah. And what they really meant by yeah. somebody being woke. Wake yeah. up. Yeah. Unlearn. Because you have to unlearn a whole lot of stuff that you've been, you know, that you've been taught, maybe by mainstream. Wake up. So I'm telling you, this is a really good movie. And it's totally okay. Um, there's a few scenes there that might be inappropriate for really younger kids, but teenagers, that's fine. Sit down and watch it with them. Oh, yeah. 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 And so we want to thank you very much for tuning in. I'll go ahead and pull up School Days. Um, Prime, it's on Vudu, pretty yeah. much any stream of media. So go ahead and check it out. I want to thank you very much for tuning in to Gotta Be Real Movie Reviews with Tommy, that'd be me, and, and Jules, Jules, that'd be her. All right, check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Facebook Instagram. Instagram. Like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe. We'll see y'all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>